Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys a complete beginner's makeup kit recommendation with all the products under 300 rupees. Remember, these are the products that you will need, especially if you are a makeup enthusiast or to become a makeup influencer and start an Instagram page in case you have been thinking about it for long and you are confused at which products to invest in. I also shot the makeup look that I created today, this entire face of makeup look using these products that I am going to be recommending to you guys. Plus, I will also give you some tips and give you all helpful tips and suggestions that you will need to know before you actually get started with your influencer or your Instagram page. So watch this video till the end and without further ado, let's get started. While curating the list of products, I kept in mind that all of these products should have MRP that is less than 300 and not just offer price less than 300. So that no matter which time of the year you are buying, whether there is an offer or a sale going on or not, you will still get them under 300 as well. So first let's get started with the base product. For the first step, which is priming, I will be using the Inside Makeup Essentials 3-in-1 primer which claims to be primes, protects and moisturizes and is a long lasting oil free primer. You get 30 ml of the product for 240 rupees. I feel like the primer is really a common silicone based primer similar to the Nykaa's Prep Me Up primer and also the Colorvas primer. The only thing is that it is a little bit greasy so it can be slippery so don't use too much of this product and while using this make sure that you are pushing it into your skin and not rubbing it all over your skin. Nowadays I have started using concealer before my foundation i feel like when you apply foundation on top of your concealer your base color or the skin color looks more cohesive and well put together i have two concealer options one is the miss claire full coverage concealer which comes in a tub like this and retails for 275 rupees and the second one is the swiss beauty concealer i forgot the price of the swiss beauty one i will flash it on screen somewhere right here now the both of these concealers are not available in a lot of great shade ranges um uh, they are both lighter for my skin but i will show you how both of of these perform on right eye i will be applying the miss claire concealer and on the left one i will be applying the swiss beauty one this is a much more creamy and thicker concealer and i feel like the coverage is slightly better than the swiss beauty one but none of them are full coverage concealer and since both of them are much too lighter for my skin tone they're looking a little bit ashy on my under eyes because they are not color correcting i haven't used a color corrector as well under my eyes i personally like the miss claire one a lot more than the swiss beauty one because this one has a lot more fragrance the consistency is also a little bit more liquidy this has a tendency of creasing more than the miss claire one plus the miss claire one can be used as a good eyeshadow base as well because it is so creamy for foundation i'm going to be recommending you the star cosmetic makeup foundation and my shade name is fs38 i feel like again i went a little bit lighter on this one but still i would recommend this foundation because it performs really well on skin you will see the coverage is really great plus it is very creamy on top of that compared to the concealers that i recommended this foundation has a really good shade range even for darker skin tones so i'm going to be applying this one on top of my concealer now colors on top of my skin looks a little more uh, cohesive and the darkness doesn't show through that much and this one retails for 250 rupees only for setting my face i will be using the inside mineralized pressed powder with spf 24 which is great because this one it is just for 125 rupees this one is okay kind of even though the shade is again not mine it's way too light for my skin but the product is actually good it has also a little bit heavy fragrance which might bother some people but i really like the fragrance and i don't have any problem with that if you don't want to go for the inside one and if you want a better option then i will also give you a second option which is the stay quirky banana powder this one retails for 350 rupees but this is never available at 350 there is always a discount on purple um, and this is uh, available at I think 290 to 95 rupees you can also consider this has almost an MRP under 300 rupees only I feel like this one is far better than the inside one I have tried this one before this has been lying around in my uh, vanity for a long time uh, since the inside one is new that's why I tested it out in front of you guys today for blush I will be using the Swiss Beauty professional blusher I think this one also retails for 250 or 290 rupees and this this one is pigmented you can literally go wrong with this one i that's why i took it with the blender and dabbed off the excess on the back of my hand and then applied it all over my cheeks and also a little bit on my nose to make sure that it looks a little bit cohesive nonetheless the formula is really good this blush also doesn't die away very soon compared to the price point i feel like this is an amazing blush for highlighter i have the inside cosmetics uh, insta ready illuminating highlighter this is a stick highlighter just like the wet n wild stick highlighter and it also has a buffer at the end this has a pinkish undertone so this will suit people with cooler uh, cool skin undertones this is not as blinding as your wet n wild highlighter 
or K Beauty highlighter. This one is good for a subtle glow, I feel, or you will see it in real life. Like I can see the highlighter coming through in real life, but on camera it is not catching. By the way, this one retails for just 220 rupees. For that price point, I think this is a really good highlighter, and also the packaging is pretty good. There is no good bronzer. Actually, no bronzer is available under 300 rupees. I have searched a lot, but I will recommend you my personal favorite, which is the Sugars uh, Mini Bronzer. I am in the shade Woody um, Wonder. This is a little too light for me. I should have gone a little darker. This is not under 300. And if you need a bronzer altogether, then you can uh, invest in this one. But otherwise, I feel like you might not need a bronzer altogether you can use your lipstick or your eyeshadow palettes as bronzers as well and you don't need to spend your money separately on a bronzer packet with that i will move on to a lot of eyeshadow palettes i'm so excited for this because i have three recommendations for you first one is the swiss beauty ultimate eyeshadow palette this is a neutrals palette as you can see a lot of warm tones are over here and i have gonna use this one for today's look as well this one retails just for 229 rupees and trust me this is nothing less than my my makeup revolution ka palettes or yeah makeup revolution ka palettes basically any other high-end palettes that i have used it's super pigmented easy to work with i really really love the swiss beauty palettes that's why i have one more from swiss beauty which is the hilary roda palette this is a colorful one in case you want to have colorful option and this one retails just for 229 again same it's very pigmented don't mind this one my maid actually broke this one did not arrive like this it it was completely fine when i got it can you see the colors like Wow, how pretty and pigmented the colors are. I will swatch it and show you how good the colors are. Oh my God. I love, I love this particular palette. This is far better than a lot of other pricier palettes that I actually own. And the last one is another colorful palette by Swiss Beauty. This is a new collection and I haven't tried this out at all. And this is also a very colorful palette and this is also equally equally pigmented this palette also retails for 299 rupees I feel like the packaging is a little bit more sturdy for this one than the rest of the two otherwise formula wise all are pretty much the same and the color scheme is just different for all of these palettes now I will give you a little bit of tutorial on how I got this eye look using the neutrals palette first I will use uh, this particular shade which is very close to the skin color and using a blending brush I will fill all my my eyelid so that the eye area looks very cohesive and doesn't make me look very ghastly with all the concealer that is going on I will put the same concealer on my under eye not just my lower lash line but also my under eye so that it doesn't look very ash and I'm gonna go with this golden color beautiful golden shade and I'm gonna pick it up with my fingers and brush it all over my eyelid so these are very shimmery shades so these will work best with your fingers I feel like it's difficult to make shimmers work with your brushes so I will suggest go with your fingers and brush it all over your eyelid then i'm gonna pick up the brown shade over here and i'm gonna take it with a fluffy blending brush put it on my outer corner first and then in a circular motion i will blend it out after that is blended out i'm gonna drag it a little bit outward and also towards my brow bone uh, the center of my brow so that i can create that angled look and make sure that there is some space to highlight my uh, brow bone as well and give my brows a lifted look i have used this ashy gray tone from the same palette to uh, lift my brow bone and highlight my brow bone also on my inner corners and blend it into the golden eyeshadow to make it look more cohesive again went in with a very dense brush took the brown eyeshadow and used it to shade my lower lash line it's a very basic and easy go-to party look that you can have and if you want more tutorials on the colorful looks you can follow me on my instagram or let me know below in the comment section if you want detailed tutorials or not i will post them in a future video since i haven't found any false lashes that are good and also under 300 rupees i'm gonna be using the liners for today's video and i'm gonna recommend all the lacme liners love the lacme liners they are just unparalleled i think and also the black liner is matte doesn't give you any shine plus it's very easy to use the brush is super fine and very comfortable to use as well so if you are a starter go for the lacme liner it doesn't irritate your eyes also so that's a win-win and i'm gonna be using this one to just draw a winged liner a very simple regular winged liner which i do most of the time and for mascara i have the hyper curl mascara for from maybelline this is one of the most affordable mascara from maybelline and i think out of all the mascaras um that i have tried this is the best i'm not sure i don't remember whether this is exactly under 300 or 320 something i feel like personally this is my favorite mascara from maybelline and if you haven't checked out my maybelline mascara comparison video it will be linked in the description box i have 
have compared I think seven mascaras from Maybelline and even though I have seven mascaras from Maybelline I still think this is one of the best for lipstick I have a lot of options basically two range of lipstick I'm gonna recommend which has amazing formulation one is the Maybelline creamy mattes I have three lip colors with me right now and another one is the Nykaa so cream range both of them are fine I feel like they are dupes of each other like they have the similar formulation and this one has more of nude shades but the creamy mattes they um, have a lot of colorful shades also I'm gonna be using two shades today one is the nude nuance from Maybelline which is a very nude uh, brownish pink nude kind of a shade and on top of that I felt like since this is looking a little too washing out for my complexion I went in with the shade called divine wine lastly for setting spray I have the Swiss Beauty makeup fixer natural with aloe vera and vitamin E this, this one retails for 249 rupees but it does the job of setting your makeup in place and it will not smudge or budge for a long period of time it does take a little bit longer time to dry than any other makeup fixer those were all the product recommendations that I had to give for today's video now coming to the points where I mention or talk about what you will need to start your own makeup uh, page or be an influencer on Instagram uh, first of all uh, invest on your product and I felt that it's much easier to get started or you know do your posts very frequently if you have everything in front of you like right in right within your reach okay so before you get started make sure you have your products with you and if you have a good quality phone then I will say do not invest on a big DSLR you do not need it and in case you want to invest in a camera you can invest in the Canon G7X because it's a very lightweight camera and also really a good quality camera plus it's a wide angle lens so you can include a lot of your background as well uh, I personally like the G7X a lot more than the DSLR because DSLR is not at all beginner friendly so if you are a beginner go for a G7X or if you have iPhone you can go for with that it has bombast quality a few things that you need to keep in mind is that when you are starting off do not expect people to follow you right away from your first look or first post you will need to build your experience also to be valued by your audience and always remember that the point where you are starting there is always there is already a huge competition in the platform means you are already competing with the existing creators okay so they are already posting high quality content high quality makeup looks and everything and you are competing with that so always remember that while posting or planning any of your shoots secondly what you need to remember is that you have to be creative with your looks you have to jump onto trends which is true but if you are always doing exactly the same thing that everybody else is doing then you will not be able to stand out you can definitely recreate others looks uh, as a beginner even I do that because I'm still learning especially if you are a self-taught artist I think this is the best way of learning and that is by recreating others looks and there is nothing wrong with that as long as you are crediting the person you are recreating looks from if you are not crediting then that is plagiarism which means that person can accuse you of copying their work but I will suggest that don't do that even if you take inspiration and create your own versions which is the best thing to do then also definitely credit the creator who has inspired you to what happens in this one is that you build a good impression on the in the mind of the influencer that you are recreating on top of that you also make sure that you get if your look is really good the influencer the bigger influencer might actually repost your look so you will get some visibility from her on top of that every big influencer actually wants you uh, guys to recreate their look as well because this will increase their visibility as well yes so this is like a give and take relationship so don't be afraid of crediting the influencer or any other creator from whom you were recreating or taking ideas of the faster you jump into trends the more you post the number of times you are posting matters a lot so if you can post like three to four times a day every single day like seven days a week your and if your work is really good uh, then definitely your account will grow faster okay than anyone else which is a big problem for me because I do it part-time and it is not really possible for me to post so many times I have seen accounts which post like three to four times a day they grow at a rocket fast speed but of course they are doing it full time they some of them have teams to help them so remember that that you uh, if you are targeting growth like fast and speedy growth you have to put that much of work as well um, don't get depressed if you are not growing initially because 
come on everything takes time on top of that do not take part in follow for follows because it doesn't work like that it is an exhaustive process you cannot really continue that in the long run at one time uh, when you ask somebody to follow you back because you followed them back they are not valuing your work they will never criticize your work they will never compliment your work and you will never really learn from these kind of followers because they are literally not interested in your work they are just interested on your follow back that's the reason they have followed you that's why i I do not entertain this kind of follow for follow policy on anywhere be it youtube or instagram plus your follow for follow followers or subscribers are never going to be loyal uh, however there is no guarantee that anyone who has just followed you because of your work they are also going to be loyal i will say that you cannot have this kind of expectation from anyone uh, because of course like they as an audience i as an audience i have a lot of options to consume content from right so i don't have any obligation that just because maine kisi account ko ek time pe follow kiya tha to main har baar ja ke uske account pe comment karu uh that is very unrealistic expectation to set from anyone so do not get depressed or worried about the fact that nobody is commenting or complimenting you it's completely fine just keep doing your work stay focused and keep doing your work and even if you don't grow just uh, practice it as your hobby practice it as long as you are not getting better and better and better about it this is specifically for people who are into makeup and who like doing looks i will say that invest in very limited amount of products have a bunch of options ready for yourself new as well as colorful palettes if you are into face painting uh, i know i did not show anything for face painting but if you want to get started with face painting then i can recommend you this current favorite of mine this is the yolo palette by cuffs and lashes they have 18 pans oh my god look at how beautiful the shades are i have already destroyed this by using so many times and it's very easy to work with so uh, if you want to invest in face painting palette go for this one this is really good and this one is for 900 to 1000 rupees i guess uh, on amazon i got it on amazon actually but this is available on cuffs and lashes website so you can get it from there and try to maximize the usage of products don't just create two three looks and then okay i don't want to use that product anymore make sure that you are reusing your products over and over and over and creating more and more content as much as possible lastly when you start getting offers for sponsorship and pr products and everything don't get carried away remember that your brand whatever you have is because of your audience and even though people term it as influencer your job is not really that of influencing like it is not your sole purpose to influence people to buy things uh that that is like a part of this entire job which will help you sustain your business sustain your job and give you the money to keep going but that should not be the sole purpose so don't get carried away by that don't get carried away by sponsorship and pr uh, recommendation or pr products and stuff and uh, forget to be authentic always be authentic with your audience and make sure that you reply and engage with your audience as much as possible from my experience i have seen that it's easier to deal with all of these and do this job if you are selfless like just be as selfless as possible don't have any expectation from anyone not even a single audience and do as much as you can contribute the more you can contribute the more people will want to come back to you because you are adding value at the end of the day and that is what people are coming on the internet for not for uh, selfish content so that is it for today's video those are all the products that i had to recommend on the 300 rupees comment down below if you have any recommendation on the 300 rupees or not and which one is your favorite or which one you are planning to try if you found this video helpful then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here tap the bell icon to get notified every time i post a new video and you can also follow me on instagram for tutorials and other type of videos as well i'm posting a little bit regularly over there i will mention the links to all the products in case you want to purchase them in my description box uh, along with my instagram handle i will see you soon in my next one uh, till then take care